What's up guys? Today I have another iDog restoration for you guys. This is going to be another iDog pup restoration. This is going to be how to fix the sound on your iDog pup that sounds like this. Or just, it doesn't have to sound like this. It can be no sound. It can be like very crackly sound. Just in any way that the speaker does not sound normal, we are going to fix it. I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. I do have a replacement speaker ready. Now, in some cases, you're not always gonna need a replacement speaker. In some cases, it'll be a wire. And there are actually some instances in which you can fix the original speaker, but that is not gonna be the case this time. So I'm gonna show you um, how to replace the speaker in the iDog Pup. So we're gonna begin by taking off the battery compartment, removing the batteries, and removing the four screws on the bottom. And we're gonna take off the back of the body. We can take off the front legs as well. There we go. Legs come off. So when you first open the pup, you're gonna notice there's these little springs with the little white tabs on them. These will fall out almost instantly. So make sure when you open it, not to lose those. In fact, if you wanna take them out, they fall right easily. If you flip it upside down, they'll fall out. And then just make sure to reinsert them when you're done. It goes spring first and then the white piece with the, the knob, with like the little head facing upward. And we already have access to the speaker just like that. So we're going to take apart the two screws on the top side of it. Okay, this is the speaker I'm using to fix it. Now, this speaker is actually slightly bigger than this original speaker here. Um, so what I'll be doing is I will be not use I will be gluing this speaker in place and rather than using this piece because it's slightly bigger, but in, a, in some instances that can be better because it'll sound better as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to glue this on. All right, so it's a little lighter at now. I opened the garage door, so you guys, you guys should be able to see better. Here's the speaker we're gonna be using. Make sure the solder points are facing upward toward the back of the head because that's where the wires are gonna be the closest to. And um, what I usually do is I just line them up like this. And then take the hot glue gun and just kind of lightly coat it. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of just spread it like this. I usually, actually, yeah, I don't want it right there. I usually don't do it by the neck because that's where the movement is. Mm -hmm. We don't want to interfere with the movement. All right, so now that the speaker's glued on, I'm going to desolder the original speaker and hook up the new one. And some extra, there we go. Oh, you can't see that. Now, so Don, I'm gonna put the battery compartment on, give it a quick test to make sure that worked. And if we get sound coming out of it that sounds normal, then it did. And it most certainly did work, excellent. So now you're done. Now it's reassembly process. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put everything back the way we found it. Also, make sure not to forget the springs 
that go in the legs. There's one on each side and there's a little white piece that goes in like that. Those go missing a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put the legs back on. Put the head back on in place. This leg on and the other leg, wherever that went, here it is. Make sure no wires are gonna get caught on anything. And now we are good to go. Perfect, there it is. Now let's take that out and get all the screws back on the bottom. All right, we are fully reassembled. I'm gonna clean up some of this glue that went all over the place. And now we put the battery in and see how we did. This leg got a little messed up. Actually, there, never mind. Now we're good. So let's see how we did. Oh, goodness. There we go. That is the highest quality pup speaker I've ever heard in my life, you guys. Take it down here so you can see the lights better. Wow, that is impressive. That sounds really good. And there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this guy's helped you out. I'll link the speakers in the description so you guys can fix your own. And I'll see you guys in the next video.